Now time to meet the DEBCOM 16 team who are going to tell us about next year's DEBCOMF in Cape Town. Thank you. Um, so, our team, all hiding in the corner here. Um, you'll, you've met us all already. <laughs> Some more pictures of us if you can't see the people really hiding in the corner. Um, we have dates for DEBCONF 16. It says preliminary, but we're pretty confident about these dates. Um, we haven't signed contracts yet, so that's the only reason they are, are preliminary, but we assume that everything should be fine. This does put DEBCONF in the middle of winter, um, but winter doesn't mean snow in Cape Town, it just means it might be quite rainy and the rain might go sideways. Um, <laughs> if it we does mean there's no wasps? Or bees, or ants, <laughs> wasps or mosquitoes. Don't, wasps don't tend to be a problem, but it's, no. Yeah. But so basically, the insects are not there in winter. So that's good. <laughs> 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 if we're lucky, we'll have a nice uh, rain-free week, and it'll be spectacular. If we're unlucky, it'll be raining all week. Um, so do bring a raincoat and hope for the best. Temperatures should be fairly comfortable. You certainly don't need snow clothes. Um. It's already going set to be in Cape Town, so I don't have to sell you on why you're coming to why DebConf is going to Cape Town, but I do have to tell you why you're coming to DebConf in Cape Town. It's a spectacular venue. Uh, we're on a university up on the side of the mountain with a view out over the city. Um, the buildings on the front are the two residents. Well, we're going to have one of them as a residence that people can stay in, and our lecture halls will be up in some of the buildings to the left. Just out of view on the right is the pub. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Also, there's hiking routes going up directly behind the building where the um, lectures are. So you can go hiking <coughs> all the time. The, the university is surrounded by three sides by a national park um, that just extends up the side of the mountain. If you want to go for a run around the mountain before breakfast, you're welcome to. Cape Town also has some other pretty views. Um, this is Greenpoint Stadium that you might have seen from our World Cup. Uh, the university is around behind Devil's Peak, which is the mountain you see on the left. So, by the way, some people didn't know what this line was on the badges. That's the outline of our mountain, and being Cape Townian, we thought the whole world knew this. So that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can see why. That line you, will, you will learn the names of all our mountains if you come to DebCon 16 in Cape Town. We have a lot of good, very good wine farms in the area. This one is about 10 minutes drive away from the university. There are others maybe more like 20 minutes to half an hour's drive. I'm sure we're going to have day trips to Winelands. Uh, that is a summary view probably, but <laughs> <laughs> you can have days like that in winter. There are very good botanical gardens, uh, about five minutes drive or walking distance even from the university. There's a contour path between the university mm -hmm. and the botanical gardens. You can easily spend days here very beautiful. And of course, there are shopping centers and restaurants and everything that you'd expect from a major world city. Uh, and animals. We have penguins. So the team had a bit of bike shedding in which animals to include. <laughs> <laughs> penguins seemed like a no-brainer for the most popular animal. Uh, we don't have raccoons, but we do have penguins. Uh, you can't the, the, hmm. You can walk and swim with them if you're lucky. They do bite. To, they you probably want to stay away. <laughs> yeah. And they smell a lot. They make a noise like a donkey, which is why they're called jackass penguins. Uh, we have sharks and whales. This will be perfect whale watching season, by the way. Um, so we might have a day trip to, Hermanus, maybe. to a seaside town that you can watch whales on. Not that Cape Town isn't a seaside town, but the whales go a bit up the coast. Um, Debconf isn't the only like-minded group in the area. There are other people, there are locals who should be interested and come and join us. Um, we have a strong Python community that many of us are part of, and Ruby, and many other things. Let's talk a bit more about our venue. We're using the um, new engine, well, the new Snape building, which is next to the new engineering building at the University of Cape Town. This is a brand new building with brand new lecture halls that look like that. 
Each desk has a power plug, which we thought was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they all accept your Euro plugs. Yes. Um, and we have some lots of buff rooms and hack labs that look pretty comfortable. Um, there's some other space. We've, there should be some outside hack labs that can double as smoking areas. And this space here is above the really big lecture theaters that see 300, 400 people. If something goes really wrong and lots of people turn up like this DevConf. Um, but we're thinking that there might be some big events happening in this area. Um, there are ATMs just next to that area. You can draw money on venue. And there is a pub. We'll probably be serving food here. More views of the pub. Uh, it has a fireplace. In winter, a fireplace is very nice. And armchairs. Unfortunately, they're probably not enough for everyone. Well, there is. they should be during Deb Camp, um, because that pub can comfortably host between 100 and 140 people. Yeah. So we are considering just moving the whole Deb Camp there. <laughs> <laughs> Have beer all the time. Um, let's talk a little bit about accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> what went wrong here? Touch wood. Where's Running out of beer could possibly go wrong, but I'm sure <laughs> we could solve that. It is a student town. <laughs> um, the accommodation on campus is going to be single bedroom dorms. Um, they don't have attached bathrooms, but each group of bedrooms has, I think, a toilet on each floor and shared showers for that group of 10 rooms. Um, we will also have some other, we'll try and organize some family accommodation nearby. It might be a five minute or 10 minute walk away, not two minute walk. And there are hotels about 15 minutes walk distance and lots of third party bed and breakfasts. Uh, that's the residence building. They're the ones that's really slow on the contract, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are the general accommodation options. Unfortunately, some of you are going to require visas to come to DevConf. We wish that we were hosting it in a country where they accepted everyone in without paperwork, but sadly, South Africa does like a bit of bureaucracy. Um, you are required to have two blank pages in your passport, because if you don't, they will send you away at the border. Um, this happens to a lot of people, and it's really stupid. They are also going to require that you have some money and to tickets back home. Um, obviously, we'll provide letters of invitation to anyone that needs them, just like DebConf always does. Uh, you might need some fever certificates if you come from other interesting parts of the world. And if you bring children, you have to bring unabridged birth certificates. This There's is a, a very new um, thing, so we're hoping that they will review it or take it away again by next year, but we're not sure. Yeah, it caused a whole lot of trouble for people and doesn't seem to have been a big benefit. That's very sad. <laughs> hmm. Here's a map of countries that require visas. If you're a green country, you can come for three months without a visa. If you're an orange country, well, light orange, you can come for a month without a visa, but I can't actually see any of those on the map. And dark orange, you're probably going to need a visa. But most of you in Europe and America should be able to visit without a visa. Talk to us. Or read the Wikipedia page that has all this information on it. No, I said some people will need visas. So the, the normal audience from North America and, um, well, probably all of America and Europe probably don't need a visa, but I think this being a DebConf in Africa, we would like to pay special attention to people who's from the not normative areas. And they are the ones, unfortunately, that seems to require visas most of the time. So I know there were colleagues from Kenya and um, India, and they would require visas. That might be an accident of the projector. Mm. I think that's green, but yeah. I do. I, yeah, there seem to be two multiple greens. She is complaining that the key of the map doesn't match the colors on the map. Um, I would recommend you visit this page on Wikipedia because it's all there. Maybe our slides on uh, missing something. Let's continue. All they were in the process all the time. And that is the end. Hambakakushle, <laughs> which means see, we'll see you in Cape Town. Well, we'll see you <laughs> <laughs> again. Uh, any questions? Do you have some good local beer? 
Can we have some? Good local beer. So we have excellent local beer. We have excellent mass-produced local beer, which my crafty friends might disagree with. <laughs> but we also have very excellent craft local beer. Yeah, so, that makes sense. some of the um, less popular mass-produced local beer will be at the local pub. Um, they don't actually have any craft beers at the pub. At the moment, but when I asked them, they said they are looking into it and they Ooh. are willing to negotiate with us to bring in beers if we want to organize it, which we certainly will. And in, the, lo in the local Linux community, there is a brewer. If mm. we persuade him, yeah, we might get some beer. Beers. It's really cheap, though. The beer is really cheap. <laughs> um. <laughs> Silly question. Does the venue have aircon? Um, the lecture theatres will have aircon, the rooms probably don't. But it's winter! Yeah. Um, so no, so it's, in South Africa there generally isn't heating in houses, people just get cold. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's not quite cold enough to need heating, except for the few days a year when you do. Yeah. Yeah. A sweater should sort you out, generally. <laughs> Um, then there's a buff tomorrow at 2 o'clock in our Thinky Room where we can brainstorm. So any crazy or wild or whatever ideas or suggestions or recommendations or critiques or comments that you have for DEPCOM 16, please join us there. Um, there's also our IRC channel or email. Um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to hear your ideas about how to make a DEPCOM in Africa work very well. In addition to that, we know that some people won't be able to join us. And we would like to explore ideas on how to make remote participation a good idea. Obviously, in person is always best, but there's ideas on how to make it really good for everyone. There will be a good internet connection, so you can expect good video streams. Um, we just need some IRC question uh, forwarders. So what ideas do you have for, for the day trips? You've already mentioned the winelands. I mean, I'm assuming a trip up the mountain, that kind of thing. So there was a safari trip. A lot of people asked about animals. Um, definitely a whale, or pr probably a whale trip to Hermanus, possibly ending at Mark's farm um, in, where, where these That's Linux the brewery. run brewery. Um, there was a hike up. There was possibly a trip to Cape Point Nature Reserve, which is the most southwestern point of Africa. Agalas takes Southern Point, but it's pretty damn close. My, my, fa <laughs> my favorite trip, you go down the, down the Cape, and you stop off and you see the penguins. Yes. And then you go down to Cape Point, and you can hike out. That's like the southernmost point uh, of... Yeah, yeah, and back down again. Yeah, and, yeah. and if you're really lucky, you get to stop at the uh, funky Cuban restaurant on the way back if you have time. Yeah. It's great. There's a lot, so we'll probably go with... Um, we'll probably load them all up there and see what happens. Do a mini-survey and... There's just too much to do. Yeah. There are some good wild animals in that game mm. reserve in Cape Point as yeah. well. If obviously like, a wine farm. You probably trip. see an ostrich. You probably see yeah. some baboons. Yeah. If you're lucky, you'll see something else. Yeah. Um, yes, and definitely a wine trip as well. Mm? Baboons are everywhere. Baboons are everywhere. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Don't feed them, please. <laughs> Sorry to ask that, but what about the general security in the town and walking at night and walking during the day? Walking during the rain is not a problem for <laughs> me. I still don't own a raincoat and I've been living in Cape Town in 10 years. The security thing, do I want to take that? Does someone else oh, want I to can take it? it, anyone can take it. Um, <laughs> we knew we were going to get a security question, <laughs> of course. I would say it's like any major...
generally is much easier. Um, so that should be well designed as well. Although moving video equipment between venues is painful, so... Uh, yeah, yeah it, it all depends on how many people come, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. So register as soon so that we know how many people are coming. We can plan appropriately. In which system? <laughs> when the registration opens, register. Um, yeah, but the open day, we, we can design for that as well. Um, the venues are well designed for that. The venues are completely accessible to both wheelchair and sight impaired people. Um, because they're so new, they, they comply with all the recent standards. So, so I think we probably better bring it to a close there. Thanks. See you in Cape Town. Thank you.